a compact golf swing just breeds amazing results. Are you the type of golfer that gets the body and arms a little bit out of sync, you get a little bit out of control during your swing, and you don't know if you're gonna miss the ball right, you don't know if you're gonna miss it left, you're not sure if you're gonna fat it or thin it. We will all hit bad shots. What we need to be able to learn is which bad shots we're going to hit. So you can't hit fat and thin, you've got to hit fat or thin. You can't miss left and right, you've got to miss left or right. And obviously we don't want to do any of those things, but we will as human beings. So what you need to try and figure out is what is your bad shot? And how do we limit the amount of bad shots that you're going to play? And I've, in this video, I've got a simple drill that you can all follow at the driving range. If you are looking for online lessons with myself throughout this off season, you can drop me a DM on the Skillist app. We'll get started there. I'll even give you 25% off your first month subscription. If you just use YouTube 25 at checkout, you can get one, two, or unlimited less amount of lessons per month. We can set up a Zoom call and chat about it in a little bit more detail as well. Right, back on with the tip. First of all, you'll have seen me pick up a nice towel. The towel is going to be long enough to go underneath both armpits. You'll have also noticed I've swapped clubs. So I actually swapped down to a 50 degree wedge. You can go down to any wedge really. The idea of this is just to kind of go into a wedge game or pitching wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge, something that's a bit shorter to enable this drill. Because as you can see right now, I've got the towel underneath both armpits. It's a very simple drill. It's something I've used for many, many years. It helps me get nice and connected, feel like my body's in sync, get the sequencing right, but it's also a fantastic drill for consistency of ball striking. And that's what this is all about. Look at that, nice and simple. We're going down to a wedge because all I want you to do is swing it till your lead arm gets parallel to the ground and swing it through until your trail arm is parallel to the ground. So you're just making nice, small swings because the feeling here is that you're gonna keep the whole golf swing together, compact. Use your rotation of your shoulders and your chest, allowing the club to work around your body. Because the golf swing, remember, is on a circle around the body. If I stand up here, we're in a foot, the golf circle around the body is around about 45 degrees. So I want the golf club at this point to be around 45 degrees. So I want to try and feel that my trail elbow stays in nice and tight and it starts to fold as I get halfway back. And that's how I create this position. If I try and get a golf swing that works wide and straight and I get disconnected here, we start to see the shaft of the club almost starts to work vertical. Or for those golfers that work the golf club a little bit too far around the body here, you see the shaft of the club gets horizontal and also my, el my trail elbow works outside of my body. So if we can get this, the arms in the correct position, then well, invariably you're gonna get the golf club in the correct position as well. And that's why this is such a simple drill. It's just such a simple drill to take down to the range. And I would urge a lot of you, if you feel like you are struggling with a, struggling to get a nice connected compact golf swing, go to the range with just a wedge and a towel and just hit 50 to 100 balls like this and just be patient with your changes. Don't force it. Don't think five balls and done think 100 balls and maybe nearly there okay so we're just going to get this swing working nice and round so keep the arms in nice and tight to the body back through A beautiful strike i've still managed to compress the golf ball because i'm still actively using my lower body to rotate back and i'm pressurizing into my lead side and i'm rotating through but the difference here is i'm just keeping everything nice and connected there's no panic there's no manipulation on the way down and that's where i see a lot of the golfers where you get your arms stuck away from you or get your arms away from your body get disconnected you get high or flat and from these two positions you've got to manipulate the golf club in a way to get back to that golf ball lots of things happen we see golfers 
pull in with the legs. I see this so often. Lock out the legs to get them out of the way. And you don't do that on purpose. You do it purely subconsciously because it's your body reacting to being in the incorrect position to hit a good shot on a golf ball. So you get wide, you get stuck, you get stuck, you get wide, you get high. Your body has to manipulate itself on the way down to basically rescue your golf shot. It's great for towels also great for cleaning the club as you practice what we want to try and make sure we're doing is keeping the connectivity in the golf swing throughout so then you can start to sequence the lower body rotation the weight shift there's so much in the golf swing isn't there weight shift rotation release there's loads going on so if we can keep the upper body nice and connected together and then we can activate the lower body for your rotation and your power on the way down You've, obviously, you've then got your steering wheel and your engine. And if they're working together, you can drive correctly. It's, it all works out perfectly. If we've got the steering wheel going off on a tangent in all sorts of different directions, then the engine won't start. If the engine doesn't start, we're going to be inconsistent. We'll only be able to pull it off a few times, not every time. Once you've got a comfortable hit in the wedge, go back up to your mid iron, go over to your six or your seven iron, but do the same swing. So still feel like you're hitting that same swing back. You're just going to the L position here or a nine o'clock position, halfway back and halfway through. Even with the mid iron, get used to the length of club and push it through. This is also a great little shot for when you want to hit those little knockdown shots. But again, you're working the body nicely, working it together. That's the, goal, that's the golden rule with this golf swing. Making sure the golf swing is sequencing together. Everything's rotating together, moving together on a, on a rotational arc around the body. If I now set up, I've got no towel. Obviously, it's going to feel quite strange. So what I would often do is just pull your jumper up or pull your shirt up and just, just squeeze it in there. And this is, again, great for practice. Squeeze it in there and swing up to the top and just feel like you've got everything nice and connected in here as well. You're not gonna to have to do this forever, but it's a fantastic way of creating understanding and creating feel. Squeeze up that jumper into the side of your armpit. Sposh. Beautiful little rotation on the way back, keeping it connected, swinging it through. Now, one thing you have to stipulate and also understand is once that golf swing gets past the L position or the, the lead arm parallel to ground position, you are going to release it up a little bit. You are going to not disconnect, but you are going to drop the towel or drop the jumper down because I don't want you swinging it as if you're inside of a straight jacket. Okay. So you will get to a certain point. You're nice and connected in that takeaway. The next feeling for you to have is that the lead arm and the and the bite and the pec the bicep and the pec just stay really tight together so you get into that position but when you get to the top there you'll notice that a towel would fall out of there but in here it's tight there's nothing moving in there okay the left the tre the lead bicep to the pec is nice and tight and then you can sequence it all the way back down again and that's again where it's really important to get the timing absolutely perfect by just starting off with a towel, with a wedge, and you will definitely start to sequence the swing better, get a little bit more compact and connected, and you will get better. I can absolutely 100% guarantee that off this drill. It's an absolute no-brainer. It's one of the best drills around. Give it a try, drop, me, drop in the comments section below. Let me know how you found it. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thank you so much for watching as ever. Loads more content coming to help your game.